Hey YouTube, I'm Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a get ready with me video. I am gonna do a full get ready with me. I need to wash my hair. We're gonna pick an outfit together. We're gonna do my makeup. We're gonna get ready to go and hang out with my friends in the park because there is nothing else to do in Ontario where I live. So if you guys wanna hang out with me today while I get ready, then just stay tuned to the video. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna brush my hair, get in the shower, wash, we're gonna shave, we're gonna exfoliate, we're gonna do the whole thing, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, hi, hello. Fresh out of the shower, moisturized my bod, and we're gonna move on to makeup. So, I am gonna do my skincare really quickly. I've shown my skincare in a couple videos recently, so I'm just gonna skip over this part. Okay, so I'm gonna start my makeup with my Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow, like I pretty much do every single day in the summer. I do not really like wearing foundation in the summertime if I'm gonna be spending time outside. I feel like, for me, it's better to use products that are not going to show as much once your oil and your sweat and your sunglasses sitting on top and being outdoors all of those things can impact the way that your makeup looks and if you have on a heavy foundation and you take off your sunglasses and they've been resting here or here then you get really big indentations there as your sweat starts to come through your makeup will start to break up um, heavy concealer under the eyes will start to really crease as things get warm um, so for me it's just better to work with lightweight products in the summer that as those things start to happen it's just not as obvious that your makeup is falling apart that's kind of my strategy with hot weather makeup so tinted moisturizer is a go-to for me i love this one from charlotte tilbury because it gives my skin almost a little bit of a tan and because i wear spf on my face every single day my body gets color and my face and my neck do not so when i use this color it helps just even everything out make me all one skin tone this also has a really beautiful glow to it that just makes my skin look really healthy and fresh and wonderful so i use this all summer long now before i started filming this video i tried to take some before pictures for the thumbnail and I was shocked and appalled at my under eye bags. They don't look as bad because I have all of this lovely lighting going on behind you. But um, yeah, when I was looking in those pictures, I was shocked. So I'm gonna pull out my Becca under eye brightening corrector. The video where I feature this product and try it out for the first time is my most watched video on YouTube. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll link it up at the top here and in the description box down below if you wanna go check it out. I have mine in the shade light to medium. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my beauty blender and go in with this underneath my eyes first to help color correct some of that horrific darkness away. I haven't been sleeping very well lately. I have been falling asleep during the days, like in the afternoons and evenings, and then that's been leading to me having poor sleeps. So I'm sure that's the reason for my issues. But nonetheless, just a quick little fix that looks great. And then I'm going to go in with concealer. So I love the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I think they actually changed the name of this recently. Um, but this is a really beautiful product when you're not wearing foundation. It goes onto the skin so lovely. It's so natural and lightweight. It's not super obvious that you're wearing concealer on some parts of your face and nothing else on other parts, if you know what I mean. Normally you would have foundation down and then when you put on concealer, you're building up the coverage and what can happen sometimes with a full coverage concealer if you're not wearing foundation is that the concealer is very obvious, but the formula of this is just absolutely beautiful for this function specifically of just looking super natural and like airbrushed. Um, and not making it look super heavy or cakey on the areas where you have concealer and nothing else. So I'm gonna just blend that in again with my beauty blender. I will have all of the products that I use and show you guys in today's video linked in the description box down below if you guys wanna check anything out. But sometimes I do this and I take out a lot of the discoloration of my face and then I realize that my nose is really bright red. I'm just gonna take a little bit more, like such a small amount and just add a little bit 
to my nose as well just to make it so that my bright red nose isn't popping out in the middle of my face. My nose and my upper lip are like the sweatiest parts of my face, so I don't like to put makeup there if I don't have to, but some days my nose is just a little bit redder than others, so. Honestly, like that combination of the Unisex Healthy Glow and the Too Faced Concealer, I just feel like are incredible like i just love the way they look together on my skin i've been rocking this look a lot lately this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finishing powder this is the absolute best powder that i've ever used in my life i'm gonna go in with a little bit of this so i'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes where i have concealer and then down my nose because like i mentioned i got really sweaty in this area and then just a little bit in the center of my forehead as well. All right, let's cream bronze. I'm gonna use my Danessa Myricks Balm Contour in the shade Medium One. I've been really enjoying this lately for cream bronzer. So I don't wanna take too much. You can always build it up and this blends out so beautifully, you guys. It's so easy to work with. Today, I'm gonna go and see some friends who I haven't seen since the fall. So I'm gonna meet up with some of my Charlotte Tilbury pals. We all work together at the Charlotte Tilbury counter um, at different times between like 2016 and 2018. And I think only one person still works at a Charlotte Tilbury counter. And then I think I'm the only one left demoing for the brand. And everybody else has kind of moved on, but I think we all still refer to each other as our Charlotte Tilbury gal pals, and we probably always will. I mean, I don't think anyone says gal pals. I don't know where that came from. My Charlotte Tilbury friends. <laughs> okay, cream bronzer is on. I am going to add a little bit of cream blush. So I'm gonna take this little uh, mini from Milk Makeup. This is the cream blush in the color Work. I have been experimenting with cream blush a lot lately, like for the last year pretty much, and I've kind of perfected the way that I like to apply it, and I thought I would talk you guys through it because I know it's getting more and more popular, and I'm seeing some people like out in the real world wear it in sort of an unflattering way. There are no right or wrong ways to wear makeup, but I like to give kind of tips for makeup that might be more flattering and of course like every face shape is different too but something that i'm seeing a lot of people doing is taking their cream blush and almost doing like a bronzer or a contour shape with it so they're putting it sort of in this area and bringing it up here and then they just have like a red or pink sort of really obvious line that kind of comes from the tail of their brow down onto their cheekbone, almost like contour. It's even more obvious if you're not wearing bronzer and you're only wearing cream blush. In my opinion, the more flattering way to apply cream blush is sort of across the face like this. So the way that I do this is I sort of start a little bit higher on my cheekbone. I'd say, yeah, kind of near the corner of my eye here. I'll go in with my brush and come across, up and over the nose, and then back out over here as well so we're in kind of this area where we would highlight we're hitting a little bit of the apple of the cheek but we're keeping it high so that we're not dragging things down too much and then yeah just kind of bringing it up and over the nose if you don't want to bring it up and over the nose i mean you don't have to you could just do sort of from here and then here but I, I think it looks really cute going up over the nose like that i'm not bringing it like up over here onto my temple i'm keeping it high up on my face it's not acting as a contour or anything like that and i think that's just the most sort of fresh and pretty and youthful and summery way that i have found to apply it so hopefully if you've been struggling with like where or how to apply your cream blush that will help you out a little bit i love this color it's just like the most perfect natural not too pink, not too red, not too orange type of color. Okay, eyebrows need to happen. I always do my eyebrows after my bronzer because otherwise I'm messing up my brows with my, my bronzer brush. I'm just using tinted brow gel these days. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. My brows desperately need to be done, but I don't want to do them myself because there are so many talented brow artists in the city that I live in and when my brows get super overgrown like this, it gives them something to work with so they can give me like a real beautiful shape when my brows get really overgrown. So I'm just waiting until lockdown opens back up and I'm allowed to go and get my brows done. Um, but in the meantime, it just makes it kind of impossible to fill them in with a pencil or a pen or anything. And because they're already so kind of like full and bushy, I just use tinted brow gel just to 
enhance them a little bit. So this is the Boy Brow from Glossier. I have mine in the color brown. Brush my brows up so that everything is lifted. Because they're so kind of bushy, they're really heavy and they can bring things down with them. So when they're a mess like this, just all the hairs straight up. So I haven't been wearing eye makeup for the past week and a bit because my eye was really hurting me. Um, it was like painful to touch. It wasn't infected or anything, so I don't know what the deal was. But I woke up today and my eye is feeling so much better. I was able to rub my eye today for the first time in over a week, which was just like heavenly. <sighs> Um, so I, I'm gonna put on a little bit of eye makeup, but I'm gonna keep it really soft because I don't want to Yeah, go overboard with it while my eyes still bothering me So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize in the color rose gold So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a fluffy brush And I'm mostly just gonna add this to kind of the inner corner of my eye And sort of sweep it across the lid to like about halfway across on both sides and I'll just leave it at that. So it's just kind of coming halfway across my lid and then just fades into nothing, my skin. Just for a little pop of color, something interesting happening on the eye. And then I am going to pop on a little bit of mascara as well. So let me curl my lashes and do my mascara. I think I'll use my, yeah, let's go Urban Decay Perversion. I forgot that this camera has zoom. I should have had you guys zoomed in while I was doing that eye makeup. Let's, uh zoom you in for the rest of it. Sorry, I usually use a camera that doesn't have zoom. Okay, um, for the next part of my look, in my Y2K video, I used this white color from this Natasha Denona palette to do the inner corner of my eye, and it was blingin' and poppin', and I really want to have that look on my eyes again. Add some of this white shade to really highlight this inner corner of my eye. Just doing a second layer so it really pops. Okay guys, so we're almost done with the makeup. Last thing I'm gonna do is just highlight my skin. So I'm gonna actually take my Auric Glow Lust for this. I've been trying to use up my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filters using this most days for this, what I'm gonna do right now. But yeah, because I'm going to see my Charlotte Tilbury friends, I want just like a little bit of like extra blingy highlight and this one is a little bit more intense. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and apply it in the areas where I want it. So tops of the cheekbones. And then I'm gonna bring that up here as well above my brow. And I'm just gonna kind of buff that in with my finger here. And I would get a better result if I used my finger on my cheek as well, but I'm just too lazy. I cannot blend cream highlighter in with my finger. I don't know why I, it drives me crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna use the little tip of my sponge and blend that in with the with the sponge instead of my finger okay and then i'm not gonna put anything on my lips because i have to put on a mask and i hate putting on a mask when i have lip product on um and because the last few times i've been out in the sun when i've come home my lips have been so puffy and swollen and sore so i think they've been getting sunburnt um i really tried to get out of the habit last year of popping my pimples and my mind was like okay we're not going to pop pimples anymore but we're going to give you a new habit that's not great and i started picking at my lips so now i have this thing where i'm like picking the skin off of my lips and making it like really raw and then i have this like new exposed skin underneath and i'm going out into the sun and they're getting burnt it's my new thing i'm gonna work on um but all i'm gonna do is put on some of my Jack Black lip balm because this has SPF 25 in it. So this will hopefully help to protect my lips today. And I'll bring it in my bag with me so that I can continuously reapply it throughout the day and hopefully not have to worry about coming home with super sore red swollen lips. Okay, last step, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay setting spray. This is my favorite, the All Nighter. Wrench my skin in that. That just always feels incredible. Okay, welcome to my bedroom. I've been talking in some of my videos recently about how I've been on the hunt for some summery bottoms to wear. And I've been seeing these shorts on TikTok a little bit. And I don't know, in my mind, they're not gonna be the most flattering on me, but I thought I would try them 
I love me like a denim cutoff short, but I've gained weight and my legs rub together too much when I walk, so I can't wear too short of shorts these days. And so I've been seeing these jean shorts that are like a bit longer. So I thought I would give some of them a try and I bought them from Old Navy. I've been getting Old Navy ads uh, for a while and I thought these looked really cute. And I got them in two different sizes to try. And then I've been like brainstorming what tops I would wear if these bottoms do fit me. So I have this cute little tank top that's like a really like I feel like 70s inspired. It reminds me of Donna on that 70s show. Um, I got this last summer. I really love it. It's super comfortable, really thin um, and lightweight. So I thought that. I thought maybe this cute little yellow tank that I have would look really cute. And then I thought this might look really cute too. This is like the shortest crop out of all, out of all of them, so it depends how high-waisted these are, but I have this little gray top from Topshop as well from a couple of years ago that I like. So we'll just see how high-waisted they are. Let me try on the shorts. I don't know, I'm also a little conflicted on the sizing. I tried on the 12s too, and I'm gonna try them on for you guys too, but I just wanted to show you the 10s again. So these are the 10s, and then let me show you the 12s. I think that the the leg on these is exactly how I want it to fit. However, there's so much room in the waist. And I feel like as I wear them and they stretch, that's only going to get more and more. So obviously you can belt that, but I'm not a, like a belt person. I don't really wear belts unless it's for like the style of the belt. Like I don't like belts just to like hold up my clothes. Their literal purpose. So I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to decide. I, I do think like because of all this extra like fabric here, it makes them a little more comfortable, but maybe a little bit less flattering. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep the tens. I think I've decided. Um, yeah, they're a little bit like tighter through here than I want, but they're still not super tight on the leg. They have kind of that baggy feel, especially back here. And they just fit me in the way so much better. Like there's a room, but it's not, they're not like falling down. So I think I'm gonna keep the tens. I put on this other top to show as an option. Just like my hair air dry, by the way, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I have no product, nothing, it's just gonna air dry. I've been avoiding the heat on my hair as much as possible because it's just such a disaster. I haven't cut. I haven't had it cut since August, so it's a mess. So I'm just trying not to use too much heat on it, but yeah. Okay, so here's this outfit option. And here is option number three. I think this is really cute as well. I love the waist on these. It comes up like to my belly button, almost above it, which means I can wear tops that are more cropped. This length of top, I feel like is super flattering on me because it really emphasizes my waist. And when I have pants that come up high enough that my like hips and stomach aren't like sticking out, I just feel like it's, I don't know, it's my favorite style of top to wear. And in my opinion, I find it the most flattering. I'm like the most comfortable in a top like this with something that comes up high-waisted. So this option as well, but I think I'm kind of feeling the, the 70s inspired. Okay. Outfit is on, let's choose some jewelry. So Apple Watch so that I can track my steps and my movement throughout the day. I forgot to wear it yesterday and I was so mad at myself. I just got this necklace from Dynamite that I hauled in my video last Wednesday. Yeah, that looks super cute, so let's throw this on. I already have on this little gold chain that I just never take off. So I've got those two. And then do we want an earring? I think these little ones might be cute. And then I'll probably just wear my bands because they're comfy and white. And I think that's pretty good for like a casual park outfit. What do we think? I'm digging it. All right, last thing is to pack up my bag. So what do I need to bring? Okay, so I'm gonna bring with me to the park this little blanket. It's like super thin and lightweight. I have a bigger blanket that I like to bring 
uh, for like smaller park gatherings, but I have to bring it in like a huge tote bag and I don't want to bring that. So I really like this one because it's super thin and lightweight and I can fold it up super small and it will fit in my purse. This is my little purse that I go everywhere with. I'm obsessed with it. I've had it for so many years and I still love it so much. AirPods for when I'm walking home. It's so sad when you leave your friends and you've been listening to music and having a blast all day and then you have to walk home and you don't have music. Like, those are the best for tipsy walks home. AirPods are a must. I'm gonna pack my little sunglasses. These are my Versace glasses that usually live in the car, but I accidentally switched my car glasses and my home glasses, and so I've been wearing these ones and bringing them everywhere with me. They're also Valentino, not Versace. I always screw that up. I actually thought they were Victoria Beckham when I first bought them because they were like under the Victoria Beckham sign at the store. That's everything that will fit in here. So then I will also bring a little shopping bag for beverages. I have a black cherry and a ruby grapefruit, a white claw. Will was trying to tell me to put my stuff in like a cuter bag, like not the plastic shopping bag for the YouTube video. I'm like, and now like, this is real, this is real. My YouTube channel is like just me. It's so real, it's so genuine. If you guys watch my videos, you know like, this is just my life. And uh, yeah, I don't have like a cute tote bag. I don't want to bring an extra tote bag that I have to like haul around with me and is adding too much weight. Shopping bag is perfect. I can collect garbage in it at the end of the day. It's functional, it's practical. Like this is the life I'm living. <laughs> I think from the store, I'm just gonna pick up some guac and some salsa. Jackie said she's gonna bring chips and then I'll probably get like some little berries or something too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I. I'm super happy that my eyes are feeling better. I can start filming some more beauty videos coming up this week. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's going to help more people to see it too. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.